Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the month of June 2022. So we're just going to have a look at um, each week through the month of June. So week one, two, three and four. And uh, we're starting with week one, of course. So the first week of June, we will be looking at the first quarter moon, which is on the 7th of June. So let's just have a look and see what we have for that week. That's too many. I'm just going to pull one of these cards. Hope you're all doing well, my lovely Capricorns. Let's see what we have for you. For the week of June, the first week of June. Okay. Okay, so the, the message you've got here, we've got a uh, Taurus Jupiter. So we have building a secure life is your main focus. It may be a slow process, but you could have an advantage in some way. Okay, so building a secure life is your main focus. So that's what you're concentrating on, my lovely Capricorns, is building up your security, being uh, building up your finances. Um, where you live yeah there's you know quite a lot of stuff there coming through and if we have a look at these uh, something uh, that you need to be committed to so uh, maybe your commitment by that moon card we have yet there with the first quarter moon so maybe your commitment is being tested and how committed are you to actually achieving what you want to achieve okay Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we have. Right, so let's start with, um, okay, let's start with one from the quantum. Let's see what we have. Let's give them a good shuffle. So we have the Capricorn. Capricorn. Just looking at the light on the camera because it's a lovely day out today. I'm recording this on the um what day is it today? Uh 12, 13, I think it's the 14th, 14th today. Anyway, it's Saturday. I'm recording these readings for the month of June. All right, I think that's enough shuffling. Get a bit carried away when we're shuffling. At least you can see I've shuffled the I cap on there. Okay, let's have a look. Fragmented energy. Okay, so you could be feeling a little bit um like you know uh, a little bit rushed. Maybe you've got to be in too many places at the same time. Uh, that could also be a little bit of sack, uh, a little bit of lack, if I can say the words. So it's bloody Mercury, uh, what is it? It's the Mercury retrograde. So um, just one sec. Sorry about that, Capricorn. Just had a knock on the door, being disturbed as usual. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll have a look. We'll pull some cards on that, fragmented energy. And we're going to pull one now from, let's pull one from the tea leaf or a couple. So maybe this is a week as well to um, appreciate, appreciate somebody around you, um, appreciate what you have or what you're achieving, what you're aiming for. So the, with that first quarter moon, it's all about being um, being humble because we have a first quarter moon in I think Leo here for this card. Right, nothing's falling out, so I'm gonna cut the cards. 
and see what we have. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Okay, so you could be getting some advice from a friend this week, Capricorn. And we'll pull one more. Finger. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. Okay, so there's something that you're facing in the first week of June. Um, maybe some sort of problem that you're dealing with, either now or it could be coming up in the future. Or that light. Just one sec. Let's have a look. See if that's any better. So pull the other half of the curtain. See if it stops um, that focus, that light sort of going in and out there. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Flowers, happiness. Ooh. Yeah, time to be... Um, Time for you to be happy, Capricorn. I think uh, happiness here. Um, I just feel that you need to sort yourself out. I'm not liking the light on this camera. That's why I record at night times usually, because of the, the light. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. What did we have at the bottom of this deck? So the loving man. So this could be you, Capricorn, or it could be somebody come if you're the masculine. Um, if you're the feminine, then it's someone coming towards you. I say male or female, even though it says loving man. So whatever way, so someone's uh, somebody could, uh, somebody coming towards you very soon. Someone who's got uh, good intentions. Right, let me just pull one from this deck. But this is also a time this uh, first week to then um, embrace your confidence and keep that confidence going. You know, don't waver. All right, what do we have from this deck? This is the Island Time Wellness. I'm just going to see. Got some sort of messages coming in here. Capricorn, what do we have? What messages do we have for you? Let me just have a look at. Okay, so I feel with this fragmented energy and this. Um, Maybe a warning of a problem in the near future now or in the near future. Maybe something uh, that you need to get sorted out in some way. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Ooh, lovely. Very nice, Capricorn. Of course, we can uh, give in um, and receiving, giving and receiving affection. So I said about being humble and uh, being appreciative about uh, what you have around you, your surroundings, what you receive. Also, uh, for some of you falling in love, because remember we've got that loving uh, man there, the loving man. So some of you could be um, having strong feelings towards somebody. All depending on your situation, of course. So that's very nice. So keep up that confidence, Capricorn. Hmm. There's a little warning at the bottom of the deck. We have the snake. So uh, competition, enemy, uh, clever. Uh, malicious look over your shoulder and the, uh, the other woman okay so uh, doesn't matter male or female so look out for that other person that could be uh, trying to come between you and, you and what you want between you and your happiness 
Okay, so we have a little bit of a jealousy here towards um, what you want to move towards or who you want to move towards uh, Capricorn. So there might be a little bit of jealousy or envy going on around you around uh, this first week of June. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, let's just pull one from the energy deck now. That's too many. Okay, I'll take this one. Happy family. Very nice. There we go. That's the happy family card. This is your happiness in general. Um, the people around you feel like if, if you know if you, you haven't got immediate family around you, these are people that feel like family um, to you. And then for others of you, you are actually around your family. We have the number four, so that could be significant for some of you, the number four. And also we have the number six. It's really nice. So we see what that is. Let's have a look. What do we have at the bottom? Woman holding a coin. Which I've just now, the last reading I've done the other day. I forgot what sign, the last sign I've done. It might have been Aquarius. Um, yeah, woman holding coins. So someone of value, someone you see a lot of value in or someone who sees a lot of value in, in you. Because this can also be a Capricorn card. It's a woman. Could be like the queen of coins. So, um, yeah, being responsible, it also uh, adds up to a six as well. Sixes are all about uh, harmony and balance. Yeah, so let's have a look. So we've got still got three more weeks after this to get through for the month of June. So let's just pull a tarot on each of these um, oracle cards and see what we have. looking make sure I am um, continued uh, recording right that's enough shuffling what do we have we're going to pull one card on each because we still have three more um three more weeks to get through here right the star card we all oh, two majors the wheel of fortune two majors three majors now the hierophant and the three of coins I think most of the readings I've just done have had the three of coins. So it's all about working, working um, your work, what you're doing in your work, keeping occupied, you know, being skillful in what you do. This could be any area of your life. This could be working on yourself. You know, you've done some work on yourself. You, you sort of uh, paying attention to yourself in that area by, um, by looking after yourself. Whatever you're doing, you know, for some of you, voluntary work, when I see the Hierophant and the Three of Coins together, helping in the community, for some of you. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you're needing some sort of direction, so we're looking at in the first week of um, June. So we have the star card. This is uh, your guiding star. So you need some sort of direction or you may be, this is what this uh, friend is coming in for during this first week. Um, this advice, so someone needs to give you some advice because maybe you've lost touch in a certain area of your life. So maybe you're seeking some advice because you don't know where to start. This is also a week, um, I do feel where you're, um, feeling very uh, passionate about someone or something that you're doing in your life. There's some sort of commitment here you want to make uh, towards something. So if, if it's towards you, yourself, you know, your, your self-improvement, uh, your self-health, or it's some sort of commitment you want to make towards somebody else. Um, 
and also committed to your family as well because very traditional the hierophant card and i know you capricorns can be quite con uh, traditional people so yeah so it's all about this so just be careful there might be just someone trying to um they, they see your progress, they see your um, happiness and what you have and what you've achieved. There could be a little bit of um, envy or jealousy there or somebody trying to come between you and somebody else. Or come between you and what, you know, the progression you've made with yourself. So, you know, people can, uh, some people have got a, are really good at that, you know, when we've uh, sort of lifted ourselves out of, you know, being sort of, in, in a bad frame of mind you know especially in the past when we've done so much work on ourselves i mean um people can sort of put you down pretty quickly you know if you let it get to you so be careful with that yes i see you're working on your happiness so this is a week to work on your happiness you know we've also got the uh, chariot here connected with this week and these cards so this is all about your forward movement progression and sort of taking um, taking control, you know, that self-drive you have in, in you to sort of uh, move forward and uh, have control over your emotions and your feet, you know, be in control of, of who you are. Don't let others try and control you. Okay, Capricorn, so that's the first uh, week. Quick, let's get on with the second week and see what we have. Okay, joke. Let's have a look what we have for the second week. Just put those up there. So we have the uh, temperance cards there. We have embrace. So we have the full moon. That would be on the 14th. The 14th of uh, June. So we have the full moon in Gemini. So we have two cards for that there. And of course I have the Gemini card there. So this is all about communication and information. Uh, all about uh, communicating with someone, someone that you uh, say vibe with, you know, someone you've got good communication with, good stimulation and exchange, possible exchange here with um, people that you're talking, talking to or being around. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's shuffle the cards. Also a week, the second week, I'll be looking for um, something you're needing. Maybe you have a question and you're waiting for an answer about something, something you've sent off. So we'll be looking at things that may have been delayed uh, within this second week with this Gemini, um, full moon in Gemini. So it's about closing things out. Um, also about you know, being patient and waiting because something will come in, something that you might might have been uh, waiting for recently. So uh, just, uh, I've got there, this is a nice message here with this full moon in Gemini, which is embrace the flow of life. And of course, we've got the temperance card connected with these cards. So um, yeah, this is all about self-healing, self-improvement, uh, um, also about getting something uh, just right. Yeah, so let's pull some cards and see what we have. So I want to pull from the quantum first. Let's have a look. So let's have a look at this communication. Remember, this is a week where you want to sort of um, concentrate on and focus on your, uh, it could be your home as well, your surroundings, your home. So you might be uh, revamping. we have let's have a look let's just cut the cards this is for the second week it's going to be longer than the other um oh that come over i'd say stay because it's come over in reverse so we've got the optimistic card that come out in reverse so maybe it's just feeling a little bit um a little bit stuck in the second week where you um you may have heard something or something may have happened to some effect that's sort of you you sort of vibe or your optimism down a little bit 
um yeah so you know don't do that let's see let's see what else we have let's do our in between cards which is the uh, tea leaf oh we've got one come out straight away feather someone you know is undependable and insincere okay it's funny that should come out because we had that um that card from the this deck and what did it say uh, someone uh, envy or trying to get between you you and your happiness you and what you want let's just pull on the card to see what we have what do we have for capricorn for the second week in june okay bridge successfully overcoming a problem yeah that's what we want to see don't we capricorn overcoming problems all right so the answers you need are coming uh, be careful as i say because you had it in the first week as well we've got someone around you that uh, may not have your best interest at heart so just be careful there let's see what message we have here in the second week Too many messages do we have for the second week for Capricorn? Second week for Capricorn. Right, second week. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happy single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay, so that's for you singles out there. So maybe you need to get a in touch with your friends um people around you people you socialize so go get out and socialize and some of you are quite happily single which is nice living in the moment we don't always need someone you know be in a relationship to be happy do we you know but it's always nice to have people around you yeah so embrace the flow and that comes under embrace the flow of life so I appreciate your friends because remember we have that humble energy at the beginning. I'm just looking at the card under the deck here for that one. So we have new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Okay, so you may have a change of heart. A change of mind in something that you were going to move towards or something you was going to do so you might change your mind somewhere along the line and let's just pull one from the energy deck temperance card of uh, the thinking woman Ooh. we've got a mixture of uh, masculine and feminine energies coming out for this for the week of june you know doesn't matter male or female so we've got the thinking woman. so someone's considering something maybe uh as i said uh as they say building bridges uh towards someone someone uh, that you may have um disconnected from in the past So maybe a woman, if you're the, the masculine, like the male, so it's maybe a, there's a woman thinking about you, uh, uh, noticing your improvement, the, the improvement in yourself. So she's, she's uh, thinking about something there. So then, okay, 47, it's uh, 11. So it breaks down to the number two. So that's all about coupling. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what we have from the tarot. So what do we have? So we'll put one card on each of these for the second one. What do we have? Make sure. Second week for Capricorn. Building a secure life is your main focus.
to excuse the light, keep uh, focusing in and out, doesn't matter. As long as you can hear me, that's the main thing, a hey, Capricorn. <laughs> Right, let's see what we have. Oh, lovely. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. We have the World. And we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. So, so if you could be dealing with uh, Leo energy around you, or you've got strong Leo in your chart. Anyway, looking into that uh, second week, we can look, be looking at this uh, optimism. So you've got to turn something around here. You've got to think positively about something, something you want to move towards. Um, you're definitely thinking about your financial independence, that you, you, you are sort of financially independent within this week, the second week. Um, the energy uh, here for this week as well is about your strength. So this is all about be, uh, being compassionate, patient about things. And knowing that uh, something will be coming in for you, you know, something's going to be coming together. And also in that week, we could be looking at, um, for some of you, some sort of travel. So you're thinking of traveling. Um, I mean, this could be short or long distance, but some of you might be uh, traveling to visit uh, relatives or, or people you know, people in general, or maybe you have to travel for some sort of appointments or somewhere you have to go. So I, I feel travel there with that world card. Um, also a completion in your life where something you've achieved something, it's something you can be proud of. So uh, some sort of cycle is ending for you, Capricorn. So you're coming out of something uh, completely um completely new so you'll be beginning something else very soon um i think whoever's thinking about you or you're thinking about them with this temperance and the thinking woman uh, with the ten of wands i feel this is something that you feel that you have to release something you have to get off your chest uh remember that communication card there with the gemini so we're looking at um needing you're thinking about having you know having a good chat a good talk with somebody um or getting something you know sort of as say lightening your load getting something off your chest and uh sort of getting it out in the open lovely okay so that's the second week so let's quickly move on to the third week Just have a little swig of water, Capricorn. Okay, let's have a look. So the third week, we have the uh, last quarter moon on the 21st of June. So that's um, that'd be a Piscean energy there. So if I put that there and the world you've got the world card again that is uh, saturn energy so that we had that in the uh, second week that saturn energy adjustments are required so uh, readjusting yourself there and that should be there actually there that's it and then that one there and then the pisces card okay so this is all this is a week the third week of, maybe a week of to be compassionate uh, very loving and forgiving so I feel that you need to forgive somebody or, or you need to have a chat with somebody or to or you need some sort of forgiveness or they do so I do do feel this within this month that something needs to be said or, or, the, or the air needs to cl uh, clear or some sort of chapter in your life needs to be closed it's a little bit like unfinished business in some respects but also endings in other ways, uh, maybe a job or contracts ending for you. Uh, so this will leave you open for new opportunities. Okay, let's have a look. So let's see, let's pull some cards. Let's have a look. Third week in June. What do we have? Capricorn. Come on, I'm getting warm now. 
makes a change. I'm usually really cold and I've got all my jumpers on. <laughs> Dark thoughts. So we've got to stop that. We've got to stop that Capricorn. Don't keep um, thinking, you know, letting your mind wander back. Uh, thinking, oh, something's too good to be true. Or, you know, just have that confidence in yourself and carry yourself well. You know, there's no need for this darkness these dark faults yeah i feel you feel that something uh you could be sort of a little bit um dubious about something or fearing something that that can't be um it's a little maybe a little bit of rejection in some way maybe you're fearing some sort of reject rejection from somebody anyway let's have a look tea leaf let's get a couple of cards from the tea leaf what do we have? Oh, my hair's everywhere. Sorry about that. <laughs> you never see me editing my videos. What happens, happens. <laughs> Some of you are losing your hair. It's got hair everywhere. It's coming out. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Ooh, very nice. I feel that you need to I'll keep going back to that humble card because with this last quarter moon in Pisces, so the, it's we have on the card here, uh, talk less, feel more. So this is about not living too much with the dark thoughts, not living too much in your head and start feeling from your heart. You know, if something feels right, you know, go with that feeling. And the path with money is waiting for you to find it. That's good news. Uh, so we've got some adjustments are required and of course everyone will get this energy for the rest of the readings these energies of these four weeks but we will be pulling the oracle and tarot for each one so what do we need oh too many come out there just want to pull one more oh here we go let's take that one okay pay attention to your health Okay, so pay attention to your health. Sorry, I haven't been showing you the cards, but I know you take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, start looking after yourself, your well-being. Um, whatever you're doing, your vitamins and your, you know, your exercising, your, whatever keeps you fit, your walking uh, routine. So, yeah, so keep keep on, you know, looking after yourself and paying attention to yourself. Remember, we had that temperance card. So it's a, a very nice uh, healing energy now. So just make sure you're keeping that up and you don't lose focus on uh, looking after yourself. Uh, what else do we have? Let's just pull one from here. So the third week in June, Capricorn. Third week in June. We'll take that one. Karmic relationship. Mm, let's have a look. Adjustments are required, we have here on this card, and we have a karmic relationship. So feelings of, of fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay, what have I been saying right through the, the reading, Capricorn? You know, look after yourself. Okay. So don't sort of, with that dark thoughts there, don't be triggered. You know, as I say, people, when they see you picking yourself up, they some people don't like that. They like to sort of keep you on their level. If they're down, they want you to be down with them. You know, I'm not saying, you know, some people are like that. We're human beings. It's human nature. You know, we all have these different uh, tendencies. Yeah, so uh, resentment, and that's come up three times, hasn't it, for, with, with uh, this month of June. So you, you have gone through some sort of karmic lesson here in your life, whatever you've been going through. I'm really sorry about the light flickering, dark and light. <laughs> okay, so let's pull one from the energy deck. What do we have? Third week in June, Capricorn. What do we have from the energy deck? Um, we've 
we've got the world card there. So as I say, something's definitely uh, completing, coming to an end. Uh, it may have been enjoyable for you, you know, this thing that you've been doing. But of course, the time has come for it to uh, complete, to end. I'm going to put that back. So it's the garden and the gate. Okay, this is all about um, sort of being in your comfort zone, staying in your own vicinity, your own area, being afraid to venture out too far. Um, yeah, let's pull some tarot and see what we have. Okay, let's have a look. So dark thoughts, what do we have? So this third week in June, maybe don't let, don't sort of, um, don't sort of take sort of ten steps back after you to call them steps forward, and then they say two steps back and one step forward. But in your case, you've taken so many steps forward. You know, don't sort of start stepping back with that um, dark thoughts, and don't let anybody try and bring you down and make you, you know, feel. Oh, we've got the lovers. Mm. Of course, a card of choice. So maybe there's a choice uh, coming up in the third week of June for you. A choice in love or a choice in a loving connection you have with somebody. All right, let's have a look. Right, so we have all oh, the Ace of Cups. We've definitely got love here. So you're feeling very loving or you, you want this sort of love in your life. You're ready to love again for some of you Capricorns or you're falling in love or you're with the perfect person for those of you that are with somebody. So, um, yeah, you're with that person. Um, I think you're having some sort of um, conflict to do, I think this is more to do with inner conflict with what you're having with yourself. So you're sort of telling yourself two different things. Um, yeah, definitely um, good health, you know, improvement coming like the third week, starting the third week of, uh, I'm not saying it's just going to start, but, you know, the health situation, because it says pay attention to your health, and then you get the Ace of Cups under that, which tells me that you are um, paying attention to your health which is good. Okay, also a brand new opportunity um, for something you love. You know, this doesn't have to be a person. This could be a, a hobby, a new job, or something that you, you really love doing that really sort of uh, makes you feel alive. Okay, so adjustments are required. And we have, um, let's see... Right, so we have uh, lessons, uh, letting go and loving you. So uh, there are some things, maybe there's some things that you need to work on with yourself still. Nothing major, of course, but there are some sort of, still some things that you need to work on. You, you may be feeling, and this is causing this um, inner conflict here with the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel... Um, because we've got the world, we've got the garden and the gate, and then we've got this six of coins. So this is all about, um, I think, as I said, you know, staying in your comfort zone or not getting out. I mean, if you if you want this, you know, this love in your life or to meet somebody or, you know, whatever it is for you, you, you won't, this won't happen by sitting, as I say, on your backside at home, you know, and waiting for something to come to you. You know, you've got to sort of um, meet this halfway, whatever it is, okay? So you need to meet something halfway. Okay, so let's have a look at the last week. So the last week we have a new moon in uh, Cancer. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn, for that um, last week. Let's see what we have. Right. Oops. So my cards for the fourth week, the last week, is um, we've got 
Cancer card, because we get sort of new moon in Cancer. And then we have you and your loved ones are safe with that new moon. And we also have relax. And then we have the justice card that connects those cards. And let's start with one from the quantum for the last week. It's energy underneath again. As I say, be humble. Don't be afraid to ask for help um, from people you trust or you love. You know, don't be afraid to ask for any help if you need it in a certain area of your life as well. So what do we have? Capricorn, the fourth week, the last week, ending in June 2021. So we have Capricorn. Oh, why did that go upside down? The loving woman, it's come upside down. Don't know why that happened. Okay. Right, I'm going to take it upright or upside down. So whatever way. So we've got a loving woman here or maybe somebody, if it's reversed, this loving woman. So maybe we're looking at somebody who's frightened, not frightened, but somebody that's not confident enough or somebody that doesn't, um, and, you know, vice versa. Somebody that uh, doesn't feel like, I will say, doesn't feel like coming towards, not they don't feel like, yes, they do feel like coming towards you, but have they got the... Um, have they got the um, confidence to come towards you? That's what I want to say with that card. But let's have a look. So let's do some tea leaf for that last week. I'm right, going to take this up, right? Be a lot to do with surrounding family as well in that's the month of june so uh, this last week of june so maybe something happening with the family nieces nephews children your own children great period of prosperity and abundance got some nice cards okay so know that you'll be able to provide you know for yourself or you know for you for loved ones, you know, if you have a family, so you'd be able to uh, provide for them. And if you don't, you're on your own, then, you know, you're able to sort of provide for yourself. I say something that always turns up. cards in this pack so we have 200 cards that's a lot of cards and the tea leaf diamond Ooh, very nice capricorn you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift this could also be um a proposal so maybe you've got a proposal coming or you want to propose something to somebody doesn't always be marriage just be engagement or something to that effect um or it could just be a proposal of uh, a new or a work offer or a new project or a new hobby very nice okay let's just pull one from here see what we have capricorn my lovely capricorns all right let's have a look Um, oh. I shit you not. <laughs> that's the that's the, that's what the um I should show you the cards really because it's such a long reading. Um, I know you're going to take my word for it, okay? And this just come out. Okay, so this could definitely be something an engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity. 
completion. Remember that completion we have with the world, completion, union. So you definitely want to come together with somebody here or, you know, someone wants to come together with you in a more, uh, maybe taking something up to the next level, a relationship up to the next level. And for others, others of you, maybe this is a, like a really... Uh, a serious or something means a lot to you and in some ways there's some sort of commitment you're making uh, with something that's going on in your life yeah so at the bottom of the deck we've got um healing heart remember what i was saying about healing so healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addictions so that's what we have there um and one more from the energy deck. Remember that card we had at the beginning, that Taurus Jupiter? Building a secure life is your main focus. Okay, but it could but you could but you could have an advantage. So it may be taking time, it may be slow in coming in, and it may be taking some time, but um you hold some sort of advantage in some way. So you know what that is. What's this one? Door to romance. <laughs> What's going on, Capricorn? Okay, I think you've got this on your mind a lot. You know, you've got love on your mind. Um, and this could be whatever's going on in your life. You know, there's a lot of love coming out here. So you're really getting in touch with your feelings, which is really nice. And of course, we have the justice card. Also could be a card of, of making a commitment. Um, being truthful to yourself. It's a card of truth. You see something or you see someone, you see yourself differently. I'd say for a lot of you, you're not the same person you was maybe a year ago. Of course, you are who you are. But I'm saying the improvement and the healing that you've made with yourself, it's like a complete, it is a complete transformation. So that's really nice, uh, Capricorn. And we've got that again at the bottom of the gate. At the bottom of the gate, <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we've got the garden and the gate. The bottom of the gate. It is at the bottom of the gate, isn't it? So I'm daft as a brush. I really am. Right, let's just pull some tarot. Let's finish off the reading. Um, long recording, but well worth it. I thoroughly enjoy doing these readings for you guys. I really do. All right, what do we have? Let's finish off the last week in June 2022. What do we have for my lovely Capricorns? We've got that eight of coins again. So you're definitely working on something or you're working towards something. We have two eights now, eight of wands. The two of swords. That's a bit of a stalemate energy. And of course, the judgment card. Wow. And we've got the justice card. So something's going in your favour. It's something to do with. Um, so if you're doubting about your love life, something is going to be sort of um, going in your favour, Capricorn. OK, so this is lovely news. Um, there's uh, definitely neutral feelings here with you and somebody else that you're going to meet in the future. So um, I think, um, yeah, it's looking really nice. Okay, let's have a look. So what else we got? Because we've got a bit of a stalemate here. So you don't know, of course, and it's under this um, engagement ring. So uh, just relax, as I say. You know, don't be, don't feel, because you do feel that maybe you're at a bit of a crossroads, I feel here, because it's a little bit of um, shall I or shan't I energy. You know, do I say this or do I do this or do, you know. It's all these, you've got all these questions. So there's a decision here for you to make. Um, it's not he's easy for you, but um, a choice of uh, two things, two directions, two people, it could be anything. So keep that in mind, Capricorn. Two places to live, two areas, you know, that, that covers so many things. You know, you just got to open your mind and see where that fits for you. Okay, so communication coming in, all to do with this, um, all to do with this prosperity and um, 
and of course this gift or something coming in so something's coming in quite this is a very fast energy it can also be a card of travel so maybe someone's coming in traveling towards you in some way so this is all about communication this is about things happening very suddenly happening all at once these are also called the rods of love so it's a, a lot of um a frisky energy coming through, a very loving, frisky energy coming through here for you, Capricorn. What is going on? And we've got this loving woman, we have love it, you know, it's just endless. So there's definitely something going on here, or there will be in the month of June. So we've got this eight, we've got two eights now. Let's have a look at my, um, I know I haven't got three eights, but, but I'm going to look at the uh, numbers. So this is you working and um, thinking how you're going to do something um, or really intensively doing something to uh, get what you really need. Of course, it, it, I mean, this could be your job. It could be a project and it could be just you, you know, what you value in your life. So if it's worth doing, it's worth doing the right way or doing properly. Um yeah nice energy so let's have a look let's just have a look at the eights just to finish off blessings there we go blessings right so the meaning how you need to remind yourself to thank to thank and be thankful remember right at the beginning of the reading about that card of being humble okay so remind yourself to thank and be thankful for your blessings and the positive things that enter your life trust that everything is working out for your highest good and for those around you and of course we have you and your loved ones are safe so everything's working out in the way it should do capricorn okay where there's a will there's a way <laughs> So that's what I have for you, Capcom. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. Sorry about the light. Keep flickering in and out. I hope that don't put you guys off. As long as you can hear me and you can hear what I'm saying, that's the most important thing. And uh, I'll be back with your July readings very soon. I do thank you all for joining me. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the reading. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you. It really helps grow the channel and I really do appreciate it. Okay, uh, Capricorn, and I'll see you very soon. I'll be back with a reading very soon for your uh, month of July. Okay, so take care and good luck. Bye.